hi everybody it's ray and there's junebug back there and this is life and vibe and today we're coming to you from some nature trails and we're going to be catching up with some of sarasota tim's latest videos he's actually put out four videos um there were three from yesterday that i wanted to catch up with and then just as i was getting ready to head out the door he put out a new one that was like two minutes long but i don't watch them i just take a look at the transcripts and try to kind of summarize what he's saying and i got my notes this time because he went on a lot about a lot of different topics today and i know that people enjoy seeing us outside and seeing the beautiful weather i have to say i did put my sunscreen on but i forgot to put on my mosquito spray um, and I feel like I'm a feast for the bugs. It's been very, very humid where we are. The weather is very wet, um, but I did want to show you how pretty it was. And I made a copious notes about the stuff that Sarasota Tim went on about because he went on about a few things and uh, like any good student, <laughs> <laughs> um, I had to make notes because just to try to, you know, I don't watch the videos. I just take a look through the transcripts often because um, to watch as much of the time, even to speed it up, it's just that I won't be able to really, you know, take a grasp of what he's trying to say. So I did want to thank, though, before I got started, uh, Dr. Falcon uh, for leaving a very generous coffee donation. Um, so I did want to make sure that for those and anybody who sends super chats, super thanks, all of you guys, thank you so much for the support of the channel. Obviously, I'm already getting bitten. I forgot to put the, I forgot to put my Skeeter cream on. I guess they like the taste of my sunscreen, man. Oh, and it's hot, so it's hard to, you know, cover up completely out here um, on a hot day. I'm not sure what the weather is up in the 80s at the moment. It's very balmy though. The humidity must be extremely high. Um, but yeah, so the first video I wanted to talk about was the one where Sarasota Tim returns to Sarasota. That was a 25 minute, 49 second video. And it's had around the time that I checked last, um, 5.4 thousand views. And supposedly the entire video was blurry which makes me think that he did not clean his camera on his phone prior to filming. And one thing, you know, I know this because I use so many different hand creams and this, that and the other, that if you don't keep these lenses clean and clean them ahead of time, you will get a blurry, a blurry picture. So I'm guessing he just kind of hooked his phone up and uh, somehow he smudged his camera and didn't take the time to think to clean the, the, the phone uh, before filming. Got Skeeter spray at the house. Uh, it's a natural one. Um, and I just did not think to put it on or bring it with me. So he was wearing his Sarasota Tim hat, um, which said YouTube. Um, somebody obviously probably had a shop and made that for him or gave that to him. And he was arriving to Sarasota in the rain and filming inside his trucks and not only was his camera probably his film blurry he also and i had the background sound of the rain uh, coming so he went on a lot about his this rv um weight hitch distribution and that he had lost some type of pipe or pole that helps it get hitched up and supposedly this is not the first time that he's lost it he's lost it like three different times and he was talking about you know if he was at harbor Thre freight he could go pick one up he can't find it he it's not in its usual spot um and he was mad about that and tammy was getting mad at him because he was going on about um this pole and needing to find the pole and this that and the other and i get it I, I, in some ways because obviously if you've lost it three times well then that says you need to put it in a place where you can remember but also you know the thought that you might have to purchase another one and that is going to get to where this uh poverty mindset comes in and i can understand that very well because i'm somebody who has come from a family that did not have a lot come here june bug did not have a lot of money and uh oh, look how pretty it is out here guys i was going to turn this bench around um so that you could actually see how pretty it is here and because you're gonna there's all sorts of you know and hope i just don't get ate up you can see 
This area of Virginia Beach, I'll just show that to you guys real quick. And you could see here, you're going to potentially see cranes and we have pelicans. You might see all sorts of wildlife happening behind me. So that's some of the reasons why I wanted to take you guys here today. Where'd you go, June bug? All right, stay here, girl. Go, go out in the water down there. So he went on about he wasn't in his usual place. He was mad about that. Tammy was getting mad about him going on about it. Tammy was getting angry because he was just going on and on about it. And like I said, I understand that. I've been somebody who's always had to, you know, mind uh, my finances. And so I can understand. I'm somebody that I don't like to lose things because I know that I don't have a lot of resources always to replace it. <laughs> I think that if he, you know, part of it is because I've been a homeowner for so long and I'm a single homeowner and I've been in, it's back to school and, <laughs> you know, and the cost of living in somewhere like Virginia Beach can be very expensive. I'm sorry, I'm going to get hot here too. So I did bring some water with me because it's hot out here. So if you suddenly see me glistening, oh gosh, I can already see where, <laughs> oh my goodness, I can already see where some mosquito got me and I got a mosquito bite. Oh, great. I love coming out here, but... Sometimes if you don't remember that uh, Skeeter cream, you're gonna get yourself in trouble. So they are off to um, Tallahassee and he said that they're looking like uh, for, a, for a place to, to squat down. Um, and so he, and, uh, and I'll get to that. So he finally said that they made some sandwiches in the camper and he talked about being able to save uh, $25 from being able to uh, save that um, money there. He, uh, Tammy visiting Vegas before, that she visited Vegas when she was married, that she had visited Vegas when they were, uh, when she was with her family. He just goes on about stuff about out west, about the camper, about Laughlin. I mean, he just went, he just went on about this. I mean, it was a 25 minute, almost 26 minute uh, stream of consciousness from Tim. He talked about when he uh, went out west originally with the cramper and that he was selling the cramper and then he came back to Florida and he got his eyes uh, checked and then he got his eyes uh, surgery done and then he was talking about the fact that he bought the new uh, camper RV and that, hey cutie, and that, oh, you're such a good girl, June Buggy, you getting hot? I know, he's getting hot out here. And he talked about how grateful he was for the new camper because it was a much larger camper. He talked about uh, golf and discussing about him and Tammy uh, arguing about whether or not they should sell the Flagstaff, the summer weather out in Nevada, and that he's been arguing with, it seemed like Tammy with about uh, they've been arguing about everything, it seemed. Wanting to talk about um, being upset about somebody talking that his Flagstaff camper, uh, some, I guess somebody put in the comments that it was worth only 20000 there we go, $20,000. And he said if he, they were only $20,000 because his Flagstaff is so amazing that he would be rushing out and buying uh, lots of them and that he would run immediately to the bank and he would get a loan for that amount of money. And I'm thinking, on oh, what job would you get a loan? I mean, what, I, uh, you can't just, I, I mean, I guess he got the loan so easily with the EIDL loan that he just thinks he can just stop into a bank at any good old time and just get a loan like that, especially in this economy. That's pretty insane. So he says he has absolutely zero regrets for buying his Flagstaff and that he and Tammy are gonna call it home for now. That until they can find a permanent place to live, they will be living in the Flagstaff. And it could be for a while. This is the current plan. So remember the other day, he was moving into a condo or an apartment and the Flagstaff was being sold. Now we have Tim talking about the fact that he is going to be living with Tammy in the RV and that they're gonna be squatting in there for some time until they find something more permanent. And nobody knows what the future is going to hold. And then he starts to talk about the direction of the channel and where the channel is going to be going. So he talks about the fact that they are going to be, or he is going to be bringing some great new content now that he's back in Florida and it's going to be golf. This is the great content guys. Uh, beach areas, restaurant reviews, 
sites, different stuff coming to the channel. And he asks that people who are watching to please subscribe to the channel. He wants them to hit the like button. He is asking for them to help him out by doing that. They, he's also telling them all about the links in his description box, that he's got the buy me a coffee. He's got the Amazon links. And by using them, they will be supporting him. You'll be supporting the channel. Can you see that? It's beautiful. I think that was a pelican, possibly. It might be a crane. I don't know. There's some beautiful wildlife out here. I mean, if you're watching into this, uh, this is like a, uh, just to, to let you know, it's kind of like a basin um, off of uh, this area here with a, it's, a, it's, it's basically a mall. Anyway, um, and that uh, he's, you know, goes on and on about meet. I mean, he went on for like quite a few minutes about meeting all of these different uh, subs. Um, you know, everyone's got a geographical name. Um, it's all like Johnny Vegas, Timmy Apple, Valley. I mean, he just, you know, went on and on about the usual folks that you will see in his videos. And that, you know, that, you know, obviously he now has Ozzy Dean, uh, who's his new friend. And we know that uh, Ozzy Dean left him three coffees on his buy me a coffee. And then someone left him like 10 coffees. So he's still getting some coffee money out there. Um, I saw somebody from Virginia left him some <laughs> coffee donations. I'm like, girl, keep that money in Virginia. Uh, <laughs> anyway, he talks about having 100,000 beautiful souls, obviously enjoying his content and that he's on his way to a million. <laughs> So that was the first video. Well, I'm sorry for me talking about the Skeeters. Uh, Junebug, let's not be out in that area, please. Can you come on up? You want to say hi to everybody, Junebug? <laughs> I don't know if you can see Junebug back there. There she is, half of her. Anyway, there she is, enjoying the day. People want to say hi to you, Junebug. Do you want to come up and say hi? You want to say hi to everybody? Why don't you come say hi? There you are. There she comes. Here she comes. There's Junebug. Say hi, Junebug. I know. She's like, Mommy, can we get back? It's hot out here. Yeah, we're almost done, sweetie. The second video, and this is where we can get nice and quick. The first one, he really did go on about some interesting thing. I think the most interesting takeaway is that he and Tammy are going to now be living in the uh, Flagstaff, and he's no longer selling it. He then went to the Walmart what a shocker at uh, live oak in florida uh he managed to spend 13 minutes and 16 seconds on that one and that had had shockingly over 3,000 views of watching this man go into a walmart looking for something for his rv that's literally all that happened is he went in there and did that and he obviously goes on about the prices in the walmart and then he manages to talk about tammy and tammy needing to use the restroom and he goes on about a call coming in he talks about brock from laughlin uh, nevada coming out to sarasota and how he wants to be able to play golf and obviously bring this golf content to everybody because we just cannot wait to watch PGA Tim, Tim Cup out there. And that, you know, Brock had had a shoulder injury, but I guess that's been improved and, or, or is, is doing better. And uh, he is going to be, dry, he's driving all the way out from California to come and see Tim. And he just appreciates all of his viewers <laughs> Is what he said. And then he went on this very, you know, because cause Tim thinks that nobody's going to live long enough and that's why everyone should take retirement at the age of 62 is due to the fact that, um, you know, we're all going to die. So this gets him into a conversation around uh, Clint Eastwood's girlfriend uh, recently passing. He then talks about how good looking she was for being a 61 year old female because he just cannot you know, not take an opportunity to talk about a lady's looks. And then obviously he was, you know, talking about the time that he was in Carmel and so forth, which I understand was probably not the greatest visit of all time, but he kind of talks about that. <laughs> and then obviously just reminding everyone to like the video. <laughs> and then the third video, and this is a quick one. He was, I didn't even get the name. <laughs> it was just the RV and so, he, he listed out this gentleman's uh, type of RV and I didn't even bother to write the numbers down. And that the uh, person is from Arkansas. I guess he's a subscriber of Tam. And this was held at a gas station. 
And surprisingly, this video had just over 3,100 views. I'm always shocked that, you know, <laughs> how many people uh, want to watch his uh, exciting content. I'm always like, wow, 3,100 people. So, I mean, you can see that he's getting close to 10,000 views. He's, he's making a little bit of money. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's the quantity over quality as always with Tim. I just don't have that type of time. I, I'm not a shoot and point YouTuber. I'm a commentator and that means that I usually have to watch something and have commentary to make around it. <laughs> he doesn't look as rough as he did the other day. Um, that's for sure. But that was nine minutes and 53 seconds. So almost 10 minutes that he talked about RVs. And supposedly from those in my comment section who told me about the video, uh, he talks about RVs and he talks about how <laughs> This other guy knew so much more about RVs and Tim looked like a deer in headlights and then said something about how big his RV was. And that was kind of pretty much because Tim is, you know, an RV expert and he was getting ready to sell that Flagstaff the other day. And like I said, now he and Tammy are going to be living in it. Then just as I was getting ready to head here with Junebug to get our uh, exercise and to film this and to show you uh, how beautiful it is today out here and to give you something other than my kitchen. Um, I should show over this way. I want to come over this way a little bit. I, I think I showed you. Sometimes we get some interesting bird activity over here. So I know people love the outdoors. The beach is very busy and I can't ever take June bug unless we're very early in the morning. And uh, I uh, was working on a paper late last night. So I did not get a chance to get up as early as I would have liked to. Probably can hear all the cicadas too. It's beautiful outside. I have to say so he just posted his first day back in sarasota this was a quick video it was just over two minutes long at the time at seven minutes of duration he had had um 48 views so that's not too bad uh and the first comment that he had was just cool <laughs> that was the comment that somebody come on june bug that somebody made that it was uh cool he's going to head uh, now that he's in sarasota to where he used to live he just had been to the gym so we didn't get a, a video from planet fitness which i'm surprised so we had no planet we did not get a planet fitness video so he had been to planet fitness he had been to work out you know i'm wondering tim it's a sunday where's your crushing it for christ i haven't seen a crushing it for christ uh since you and tammy started living together unmarried <laughs> So I'm surprised about that. Not. And he talks about how good it was for his self-esteem that uh, he's, he's back to exercising and back at the Planet Fitness. And then he and Tammy are trying to figure out where they're going to be going to lunch. So I'm guessing that the sandwich uh, adventure the day before has come to an end and we'll get a video of them at lunch somewhere because he's going to be doing these restaurant reviews, remember? Uh, he, as always, talks about the weather, <laughs> about it being uh, 91 degrees outside and that they're setting, you know, that he's so happy that they're going to be setting up the RV and being able to just do that and not have to be, you know, trailing the RV around and so forth. So that was kind of pretty much it <laughs> with what I saw today. So that was very exciting, not, uh, <laughs> it probably took me more time to try to go through his transcripts and summarize, but I do appreciate everybody who is watching my channel. If you would like to hit the likes and subscribe uh, and check out my links down below, then I always appreciate that. I need to find my dog, Junebug because Junebug has gone missing and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Okay guys, bye, take care, be safe.